Pallavi, a Cloud Support Database Administrator here at AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an AppStream 2.0 image builder that's stuck in pending status after its launch. Let's get started. It can take up to 25 minutes for image builders and fleet instances to become available and change to a running state. If your image builder is still in the pending state after 25 minutes, consult the following common causes and troubleshooting steps. Here are some reasons why your image might be stuck in the pending state. The elastic network interface is deleted or detached. A missing network interface can prevent the image builder from completing the startup workflows, leaving the status stuck in the pending state. To verify the state of your network interface, open the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console and then choose Network Interfaces or use the AWS command line interface. Enter the following command. If the network interface is missing or detached, then launch a new image builder from the last working image or use a base image provided by AWS. You can check your AWS CloudTrail logs for event details associated with the network interface deletion or detachment, including event time and user identity. The second reason could be you have applications that are using Apex packages, applications that use Apex packages such as Adobe Creative Cloud can cause sysprep to fail and image builders to get stuck in the pending state. Run the following commands in PowerShell as administrator before you complete the last step in the image creation process. To get a list of the Apex packages on the machine, enter the following command. If you want to remove specific Apex package, enter the following command, replacing Apex package name with the output from the previous command. Note. For above command to work, the image builder must run Windows Server 2019. The hyphen all users parameter was added in cmdlet remove apex package in build 1709. Currently, Windows Server 2016 in the image builder runs on build 1607 and returns an error if you use the hyphen all users parameter. For more information, see get apex package on Microsoft website. Third reason could be there are problems with the firewall and network configuration, domain join image builders. Before adding a directory config object to your image builder using the AppStream 2.0 console, confirm that the firewall and the network configurations are correct. Follow these steps. Open a PowerShell window from your image builder and then run the following commands. For the output of each command, verify that TCP test succeeded is true. This indicates that you can reach the required ports to join the domain. For more information, see testnet connection on the Microsoft website. From the same PowerShell window, run the resolve DNS name command to confirm that you can look up the domain name. Or download and run the Microsoft port query UI tool to validate all the required ports. To learn about more solutions on how to troubleshoot AppStream 2.0 image builder that's stuck in pending status after launch, check out the Knowledge Center article at the link in description below. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.